Are you ready for a change? Are you ready to get stronger, to lose weight? Are you willing to put in the work and do whatever it takes? Are you ready to let go of the past? Are you ready to take the fight to diabetes? If so, you've come to the right place. Okay, great. I just tested my blood sugar. It's 138, which is right within the glucose zone. Make sure that you're within the safe range for your diabetes. If you don't know what those ranges are, check out fitscript.com. All right, are you ready to have a great workout? Let's go. Okay, great job. I want you to come right here, sidestepping. This is the level one program of the D Fight series and come right here, kicking back. We're gonna spend the next two minutes just warming up our body. So all you have to do is follow along. Here we go, and back to sidestep. Excellent job. Now this whole workout is an interval-based workout and we're gonna always come back to this sidestepping motion. and kick back again. Great job, we're just stretching out the hamstrings, getting those knees warmed up, taking this opportunity to warm up, stretch out. Three, two, one. Now I want you to get those arms going. Side step pullback, excellent job. This is a total body workout that's gonna begin the process of creating the space in your muscles for that glucose to go and kick back. There you go, good job. Keep those arms going with a little bit of a kickback. Four, three, two, one. Great job. Come right back here, sidestep. Now, if this is too hard, just cut the movement down just a little bit. And if it's a little easy, you can step a little more. Okay, back in those arms going. Warming those shoulders up. Excellent job. In three, two, one, now I want you to reach up and down. Great job. Getting that, those shoulder muscles going. Staying with the rhythm of the sidestep. Two, one, come back right here. Great job. All right, now you might be feeling a burn already inside those shoulder muscles, those arm muscles. That's okay, you're doing a great job. That's a great sign. Three, two, one, let's go back up again. Make sure you're breathing throughout this entire workout. Three, two, one, right back here. Excellent job. Okay, just in that three minutes, we took the first step to lowering our blood sugar levels. Now, all you need to do is follow along with me. I want you to come right here. We're starting at the bottom, going up and down, raising those heels off the ground. Excellent job. Now, if this feels like it's too much already, that's okay. You can always follow Deb. Deb is gonna be doing a easier version of all the exercise that we're doing today. If this feels too easy, you can go ahead and follow Sharon, who's going to be doing a little harder version. You're doing great. Eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, excellent job, coming right back here. Okay, so that was 40 seconds of exercise. This whole workout is gonna follow a pattern. 40 seconds of exercise with 20 seconds of a side to side step. Let's come back to the center again. And now 
kick. Stepping, kicking, stretching out the hamstrings. Making sure that you're breathing, getting those arms involved. Still warming up the body. Great job. Now, the muscles that we're gonna focus on today, even though we're doing a total body workout, is we're gonna focus on the muscles below the knee. Those are the muscles that are most involved with walking. And if you have type two diabetes, or if you have pre-diabetes, walking is one of the best things that you can do. Three, two, one, side to side. Great job. Okay, let's go ahead, come back to center. Now I want you to turn those toes out. And we're going heel, heel raises again. So up, down, up, down. Good job. Up, down, up. Make sure that the weight is evenly distributed in all 10 toes. Okay, you're doing great. Excellent job. Raising those calf, this is also known as calf raises. Okay, you're doing fantastic. You might be feeling a burn right now. That's a great sign. That means that we're emptying out the glycogen that's stored in those muscles, creating the space for glucose to go. Sidestep, great job. Okay, now let's come back to center again. And now this time, I want you to step, place your heel just in front of you. Now we're stretching out, especially maybe even that lower back. Great job. Make sure that your arms are coordinated with your step here. You don't want to be like Frankenstein, okay? Getting nice and loose. Great job. You can maybe step it out a little bit farther. Maybe going a little lower on that step out. Or if this is too much, just take it nice and easy. Just little tiny steps. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Side step. Okay, now let's go ahead, come back to center. Turn those toes in, pigeon, pigeon toe style. Bend the knees slightly, go. Up, up, up. Excellent. Now this might be a little more challenging than the first two. That's okay, that's what we want. Again, make sure that the weight is evenly distributed throughout all 10 toes. If this feels like it's too much, just do one foot at a time. Okay, that's totally fine. It's going to achieve the same result. Or, it's too easy, maybe you can go on a double time pace. Either way, it doesn't really matter. What matters is what's right for you at this moment. Four, three, two, one. Sidestep. Excellent job. Okay, now let's come back, sidestep, kick. Kicking back a little bit more. Getting those hamstrings involved. Now, this whole style of workout, in fact, the whole D-Fight series is based off of interval training. Okay, studies have proven that interval training has the best effect on lowering glucose levels and reducing A1C levels. So you're doing a great job. You might not even have known what an interval workout was. Well, now you know. That's what, exactly what we're doing. A little bit of a hard exercise, followed by a small break of continuous movement. Two, one, back to side to side. Excellent, excellent job. Okay, now your heart rate might be rising a little bit. Okay, that's okay. Just make sure that you're breathing. Now I want you to come out nice and wide, bend those knees, 
And now you're gonna lift the heels up and down. Excellent job. Now this is different than when our knees are straight because when our knees are bent, we're working the lower part of the calf, specifically for the muscles that attach to your Achilles tendon. That's different than when you're working the muscles when your leg is straight. When your leg is straight, the fat part, the top part of your calf, is the muscle that gets worked. Remember, you always want to work all of the different angles associated with the muscles, and you can be sure that we're going to do that in this series. Three, two, one, side to side. Great job. Okay, now let's move. A little bit of a different movement. Instead of stepping and kicking forward, I want you to come right here, and we're gonna go back, back, step back. Excellent. Step back, step, 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 step. Excellent. Step. Very good. Now you might be feeling this stretch out those calf muscles especially since we just worked them so much. If you can, step back a little bit farther. Or if it feels like it's too much, just keep the movement nice and conservative. Always remember, breathing the whole time. Two, one, side to side. Great job. Okay, so, that was 10 minutes of exercise, all working the back part of our lower leg. Now let's move to the front part of our lower leg. I want you to come back right here again. Now the exact opposite motion, lifting those toes up as high as possible. Now we're working the muscles in the front of the shin. These are some of the most important muscles for balance. If you can work these muscles and get them nice and strong, you're gonna have a lot better and easier time walking, hiking, enjoying those types of activities. Again, if it feels like it's too much, just do one foot at a time, okay? Whatever's right for you. If it's too easy, let's go ahead and see if we can do double time. Four, three, two, one. Excellent, side to side. Okay, now, Keeping this side to side movement, we're gonna do a diagonal knee lift to this direction. Three, two, one, let's go. Up, excellent, up, up, up. Great job, lifting those knees as high as possible without losing your balance. Ideally, you want to be crossing your knee across your belly button. If that's too hard though, don't worry about it. Just keep with this motion. Now if you can, maybe try a little bit harder. Maybe getting a twist involved and getting that knee up. Great job. Two, one, back to side to side. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Make sure that you're breathing, don't hold your breath. Okay, let's come back to standing center. Turn those toes out like we did before, but now this time, raising those toes. Really flexing the feet up as high as possible. Now you might be feeling a real burning sensation in the front of your calves. That's okay. What that means is that you've depleted the glycogen that was stored inside that muscle. That's the first step to lowering blood sugar levels. Here we go. 10 more seconds, you're doing great. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, side to side. Awesome job. Okay. Now, you'll get to know that whenever we're doing total body exercise, we always work both sides. So, we're gonna come back to that diagonal knee lift, but this time we're gonna go this way. Three, two, one, 
go. Up. Up. Excellent. Twist. Now we're starting to work those hips. The hips are one of the main muscles, groups, that you use for walking. You're gonna notice in this level one exercise program that all of these exercises are designed really to get you to a place where you can go for a nice, long, comfortable walk. Excellent. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one side to side. A great job. Okay, let's come back to center again. Turn those toes in just like we did before, knees slightly bent, and now let's raise them up. Now this is more challenging than any of the other exercises we've done before. So stick with me here. Again, if it's too hard, just do one foot at a time. Or you might even need to put your hand on a, on a chair or something to brace your balance. That's okay. The key here is to keep moving. We want continuous movement in this whole exercise video. Also, notice, make sure that your feet are staying pointed in. They have a tendency to widen out. You're doing great. Three more seconds. Three, two, or one, side to side. Excellent, man, I felt that. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and finish off those lower, below the knee exercises. Coming out nice and wide, bending the knee, same thing. Lifting the toes as high as possible. Now, this can also be very challenging, and at this point, the front of your calves, the front of your shins might be totally on fire. That's okay, if that's, if that's the case, Maybe go one at a time. All right, that's totally fine. In fact, you might even get a nice little stretch. If it's too easy or if you're ready to challenge yourself, come down, sink down as low as possible, keeping that chest nice and tall. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, or one. Excellent, side to side. All right, that was fantastic. Now I want you to take a big deep breath. We're gonna move up above the knee here for the rest of the workout. You should be feeling a nice tingling sensation in those muscles below the knee. And we're gonna start with a side to side reach up. Reach up. Excellent. Now we're starting to work those obliques. Starting to get the total body involved. We're doing great. We're about 17, 18 minutes into this workout. Starting to get our whole body involved in the process. See if you can reach a little farther. Over. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Back to side to side. Excellent job. All right, now, same thing. And now we're gonna go both arms. Now this is gonna be a little more challenging. And it's gonna raise your heart rate. Coming, reach. Reach. Excellent. Now we're really working the lower back even. Working on our coordination. You're doing great. See how far you can reach over. Reach, reach, excellent job. Reach, see if you can twist. Getting those arms going. And again, if this is too much, just take it down a little bit. Eight more seconds. Four, three, two, one, great job. Side to side step. Okay. You did an awesome job right there. Let's go ahead and stop and test our blood sugar and make sure that we're still within the safe range.
Okay, as long as your number is within the safe range, let's keep going. And I want you to come right here, coming into a walking movement. And now we're gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Excellent. Up. Doing a great job. I feel like I'm in a marching band. Bringing back those memories. You're doing great. This is too much. Just do one arm at a time. Especially if you're dealing with high blood pressure. Okay, it might be too challenging for you. Or go double time. You're doing great. Three, two, one, side to side. Excellent. Excellent, excellent job. Starting to feel now that whole upper body. Drain the glycogen. Okay. Come back to walking in place. A nice marching clip. Out. Together. Out. 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 Great job. Now, I'm sure you've noticed, now that we've got the whole body working, our heart rate is raised. Okay? That's great, that's exactly what we want. Now, let's see if you can go double time. Or, if it's too much, just one arm. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, or one, side to side. Great job. Okay, so you might have really felt that in the shoulder area. That's okay, that's exactly what we wanted. Now we're gonna take it down a little bit, pulling back. But I want you to stay focused here. And if you're ready for it, you really squeeze those back muscles. This is such a great exercise for engaging the lats, the traps, the core. You can make this exercise as easy as, or as hard as you need it to be by simply extending the range of motion. So if you really reach and pull, you're gonna immediately feel a more challenging exercise. It's amazing what you can do with just your body. You can do a total body sculpting workout. Four, three, two, and one, side to side, great job. Okay, so our whole body should be warmed up. Okay. We're doing an excellent job. We've tested our blood sugar. We know we're in the safe range. Now it's time to take the fight to diabetes. I want you to put your left foot forward. Come here, right here, boxer stance. Jab, jab, punch, jab. Exhaling each time, punch, punch. Pick a spot and punch it every time. Now, see if you can get that body into it. Boom. Throw in a real punch. Three, two, one, double time, go. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one, side to side. Great job. Excellent. Okay, now let's come to the right side. You're gonna put that right foot forward. Same thing in three, two, one, go. Up, punch, punch. Twisting that hip. Now you can make this as easy or as, or as hard as you need it to be. You can really snap it, or you can keep it a little bit more conservative. Whatever you need to do, just keep going. You're doing such a great job. The weight is slightly transferring front and back, front and back. Five, four, three, two, one, side to side. Excellent job. Okay, now we're gonna keep that side to side movement. Okay, and we're gonna do a crossing jab 
to this direction. So step, punch. Step, cross. Step, cross. Step, cross. Excellent. Boom. Now we're really getting the hip involved. Turn that head. Snapping the arm. Punch. There we go. Punch. Boom. Punch. Excellent. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Excellent job, side to side, back here. That was fantastic. The whole side of the body was engaged. Now, let's keep this rhythm here. And we're doing the same thing to the other direction. So, we're gonna step, cross, step, cross, step, turn the body, turn the head. Exhaling on each punch. Punch. Exhale. You're doing great. Now, if it's too much, cut the movement down. If it's too easy, I want to see a real snap. Knockout punch. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, side to side. Great, 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 great job. Okay, keep breathing here, keep breathing. Let's go ahead, put that left foot forward again. Boxer stance, jab, cross, jab, cross. Ready, go. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Excellent. Get that back foot turning over. Punch. Getting your feet involved. Your hips are turning. Excellent. Punch, punch. You see how my back foot is turning? That's how I know I got the full extension on this punch. Five seconds. Four, three, two, a last one. Knockout, great job. Side to side step. Okay, taking this opportunity when we come back to the side to side step, just let your heart rate come down just a little bit so that we can get ready to raise it up again, switching sides, and we're going jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. There we go. Punch, jab, punch, punch. Now our whole body is involved here especially our midsection, crossing over, jab, cross, jab, punch, punch. Get that full extension on the way out and on the way across, four, three, two, big punch, excellent job. You did such a great job right there. Now our whole body is engaged. We started at the bottom, worked our way all the way up, Getting the whole body working and lowering blood sugar. Hey, come back right here. Coming back to where we started. Now, I want you to think about how challenging this movement felt at the beginning of the workout. Your arms were burning. Maybe your feet were feeling tight. Now, compare that to how you feel now. Your body is loosened up, ready to go. You can do this all day. That's how we know we've engaged the metabolism. We've emptied the glycogen stores in all those muscles that we worked on specifically. And that's gonna lower our blood sugar. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back side to side. Big deep breaths. Relax your shoulders. You did a great job there. Now what I want you to do 
want you to come right back here. Standing position. Take a nice, big, deep breath. Bend those knees slightly. And I want you to inhale, reach up. And bring those hands back down, bend the knees, bounce, reach up again. Let's do that one more time. Reach down, reach up. And now I want you to fold all the way down to the ground. Excellent job. Now when we fold down to the ground, we're going as far as our body is gonna let us go. Your ultimate goal is to have the top of your head facing the ground. If you need to have your knees bent, that's fine. Okay? Be in a position that feels comfortable. Now, I want you to slowly bring those hands down to the ground, and I want you to drop your left foot back with your foot, the back foot, to a side angle. Find your balance and come on up, breathing and lifting those arms up. Excellent job. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Fantastic. One more big deep breath in. And exhale, fold forward again. Bring that foot back up. Great job, take a big deep breath. Exhale, now drop the other foot back. Bringing the back foot, slight angle. Find your balance and now come up. Reaching up, feeling that stretch in the lower back, in your groin, in the back of the calf maybe. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Great job, inhale again, and exhale, fold forward. Bring that right foot back. Now grab the back of the leg. You're doing such a great job. Folding as far forward as you feel comfortable. Now take a big deep breath. Shake your head, yes, no, left, right. Okay, relaxing those neck muscles. And then when you're ready, I want you to take one last big deep breath, then tuck your chin, and slowly start to come up one vertebrae, stacking on top of the next, the arms are hanging. Okay, shoulders are staying relaxed until you're to a fully standing position again. And one last big deep breath. And congratulations, you just did an awesome job. That finishes level one of D-Fight. Let's go ahead and test our blood sugar and make sure we're, we're within the, still within the safe range so we can go ahead and have a great day. See you in the next workout. Okay, so we just finished D-Fight level one and I just tested, you should have done two. My number is 96. My number started at 138, okay? D-Fight level one, the whole point of D-Fight level one is to lower blood sugar, okay? We did a great job right there. You did a great job. Now, if your number didn't go to where you wanted to go, check out fitscript.com. On fitscript.com, we've got all the guidance that you need to get safe and effective exercise with diabetes, including information about why your number may be going up during exercise, maybe dropping too low, or maybe not changing at all. Either way, don't give up. You're doing a fantastic job. I'll see you in the next workout.